I'm Lydia Marque, and I'm the Professional Development and Education Policy Advisor at the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. I'm joined today by Elena Rodriguez Falcon from the New Model Institution for Technology and Engineering. Elena, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Lydia. I'm really excited to talk to you today. Um, I'd just like you to tell us a little bit about NMIC. Given the, the, the lack uh, of, of, of engineers in the country, and of course that challenges in terms of gender balance in, in engineering, there was a, a concerted effort to, to bring higher education to Herefordshire and focus it on engineering. Uh, and we've been uh, working more uh, concertedly for the last three years, developing the program, developing the infrastructure, getting regula regulatory approvals, validation, you name it. We had to create absolutely everything from scratch. Uh, it's one of the most exciting projects I've ever worked on, and but the most challenging as well. Sustainability is a bit of a buzzword that we, we've been hearing a lot in engineering recently. So how are you making sure that your students are getting the principles and all the aspects required to create a sustainable design and uh, engineering principles? Now, that's an incredibly good question. And as you, you know, uh, sustainability at this time is seen as a necessity, but uh, the, the reality is that ultimately is, is treated, treated as, a, as, a, as an additional requirement. And when you bolt on additional requirements into existing uh, structures, into existing processes, it's not as effective. And of course, uh, it is more expensive. Uh, we, we know that as engineers, we ideally want to uh, embed sustainability during the process of the creation of the solution, not, not on top of it after uh, the, the design has ended. The same logical uh, principle is applied to, to learning aspects uh, of sustainability at NMIT. And we have this beautiful opportunity to be able to, to embed uh, the, the uh, requirements and the uh, philosophy and the fundamentals but also the culture of sustainability within the program. And, that, and, and we've done that. So um, every module at NMIT includes the, uh, the sustainability implications and opportunities within the taught uh, materials and, and practical activities. That's great. Where do you see your students fitting into the engineering world of work once they've completed their course? Well, I expect that uh, NMIT engineers will will be sought sought after by the very same industry that that have helped train them, which I think is is one of the uh, again beauties of, of having been able to develop the program together with employers. Uh, if you think about it, our employer partners will be on an extended interview with with our with our students with our learners because they'll be there. From the beginning to, to the end, in different guises, in different in different ways. So um, I I'm, I'm I believe truly that our engineers will graduate and will have a job. And I think having experience working with stakeholders and with with industry that they'll remain longer in the profession, which is you know very well is is one of the problems we lose engineers. Uh, through the leaky pipeline or, or through other pro or to other professions. Uh, I also expect that NMIT engineers will be diverse thinkers and change makers who are socially aware and will actively tackle the, the problems of the world, uh, be it pandemics, uh, hunger, uh, climate change, etc. Uh, but as importantly, I, I hope NMIT engineers will become visible role models who inspire others to join the profession. So that's that's my dream. And, and I think we put everything in place to, to be able to deliver against that dream. That's really lovely to hear, especially working with industry. It's really important that they do feel like they're getting the skills that they need ready to join the working world. So Absolutely. yeah, that's that's really great that you, you've got that embedded in your in your work. It's quite exciting, to be honest. Do you think this is the answer for the skills gap in engineering? I, I absolutely think that when you train engineers to be precisely that, uh, engineers rather than engineering graduates or engineering students, the results uh, should be that you, you start to, to address uh, a reduction in that gap. 
Um, often people hear me say that you won't come to NMI to be an engineering student. You will come here to, to practice being an engineer. When you get graduates that are work ready, that have experience working with those very same stakeholders who help them train, I, I believe that uh, the, the enjoyment of being an engineer will be higher than otherwise. Um, particularly if you also get skills that normally employers complain that our graduates don't have that the transferable skills, the, the contextualization of the problems, uh, being able to apply theory to practice, being agile, adaptable. Um, and, and I think that that will uh, allow our engineers to feel more comfortable uh, working in industry and remain longer there and, and therefore help shortage that, that, that gap. Um, but I don't believe that NMI will alone be able to to to, show, to to close that gap. The one thing that I think we could do, though, is as we learn how this pedagogical model works, and and if we are able to evidence that it works and and that it does do what it's supposed to do. Hopefully, we'll be able to to disseminate that learning, to share it with other uh, HEIs and create a snowball effect. Only then will together be able to close the, the, the skills gap. But but we we are very well positioned to to begin the, the, the movement, if you wish. Can you describe a day in the life of an MI engineer? So a day in, in, the, in the life uh, of a, an MI engineer will be a, a very interesting and rich uh, opportunity to really be an engineer and I spend quite a lot of time working in the projects, touching back on, on, on principles and, and the way we will know that the engineer has acquired the competencies is through the outputs they produce, uh, whether it's a design, whether it's a, a, rep, a, te, a technical report, whether it's a, a, a business plan. Uh, there won't be typical exams because we believe that exams measure mostly recollection and, and, and memory rather than competencies. But the outputs that our engineers will, will produce will be gathered in a portfolio that they'll be able to then show to their future employers. And that's going to happen time and again and again and again uh, throughout the three years of the accelerated MH program. How can one sign up to be an NMI engineer? If you want to sign up to, to be an NMI engineer, uh, please get in touch uh, at uh, nmi.ac.uk. We have spaces. Uh, remember, this is a, an accelerated degree. You will do your MH program, which is a, a, a BH plus an MSc that normally takes four years, but it will take three years, which saves you uh, a year of costs and, and also gets you to be an employable engineer faster. Uh, at the moment, we are charging £7,200 uh, per year, which is norm cheaper than, than uh, you would normally pay and we have some generous bursaries of £4,000 to, to begin the, the first year. So uh, quite a lot of uh, advantages and, and very good value for money. So please do, do reach out. And, and if you have the passion, the curiosity, the greed, uh, we, will, we will want to talk to you. Elena, thank you for your time today. It's been great to hear about Edmite. I look forward to visiting once I, it's safe to do so. And thank you for having me. And, and we will have you and everyone who wants to visit. Uh, we Our doors are open.